Welcome, King Lizard, on Xbox One with Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition. So this is the Mission White Xmas. And basically we've got to get this pilot up and moving into the pickup point or the extraction point. He's crashed a plane full of coke, money, jewellery, you name it, it's in the plane. But it's all over the place now. So we've got to try and locate these packages and recover as many of them as we can, as well as get this bum off his off his face and back to the uh, extraction point. So obviously it's the right bumper to get him up off his feet and move him on and then start opening these presents as we're moving this guy on. Grab that cash and make a stash. So some more presents here. The presents are random in this level. I've played this level I think two, three times now. And the, the presents are random all over the place. Just like this game, you know, randomly does everything, which I like, because it you know it always means you you're not particularly ever going to get the same experience. You know, something will always be different in one way or another. Police have got here already. This is a new assault rifle I picked up. I'll be honest though, I don't particularly this I can't, I can't remember what this is called, so my apologies, but I don't particularly like this rifle. It's very low on bullets. Um, it does kill reasonably quick, but it kind of leaves you out in the open, especially at harder levels. You do run out of ammo far too quickly. So we get this guy back on his feet again up the hill, and at the top of this hill there's a building where we're going to secure him and then light a flare. Now once we've got a flare lit, the extraction chopper will start making his journey to us. But during the course of that, of course, we're going to get several waves of the police assaults and stuff. So the first one's coming in now. Uh, this is only a uh, normal level difficulty because we're all quite low level um, specialists at the moment. I'm playing technician as always. And you can see the police abseiling down from that chopper there, coming to make our life more difficult. So while we're getting this drunken slob down, or oh, could have had a uh, hostage there, he got away unfortunately. Come on, come on. And you will get snipers on top of that hill in front of me, to the right of me. You'll also get people coming from behind there, they'll pretty much come from everywhere. So it's a matter of keeping your wits about you. Now the one thing in this game that doesn't help you is the hit marker because it's not always obvious via the hit marker where you're being shot. Because it's a forest level, it's also very difficult to get that flare lit. It's very difficult to see where it's coming from. So do tend to try and stay close to solid objects if you can. That's not always the perfect solution because even you seem to get shot through solid objects based on what the hit marker says but it, um, you know, it's always a good plan just to keep up close against something that's solid behind a rock or something like that so you've got some level of cover because it can, can get extremely disorientating when you're out in the open getting shot to pieces and you just don't know where it's coming from and you can't see for the life of you who's shooting you this is a good place to hold up and keep safe. Flare's lit, so we're just waiting for that chopper to come in and land. And in a few seconds, I'm going to zip out and see if I can grab me some more presents. I'm going to put some mines up first, so that it'll help us take out some of the uh, enemy waves, or enemy assaults. Put a couple on this building here. A little bit of action here. I was hoping to get some down, a little bit further down that hill there. As long as I can take these guys out with any, without taking any major damage myself. I've got quite a team of uh, police coming up. There. One of my colleagues took him out, thankfully. Mm. I might save them, actually. Chuck that with that guy. I was happy. Reload. So I'm out of bullets now in this gun, which is a bit of a nightmare because all I've got left is a pistol. 
silence one of that, so obviously it's not doing as much damage as the choppers here. So I'm trying to get this guy into the chopper, he's not the most responsive of people, and being as he's totally drunk, he's not all there, he's down again. Get up! Oh no. Take the copper out. I'm just trying to steal our bag. This one's for you, Johnny! Come on now! Try and get this guy into the chopper. Chop the bag down in there. Assault team coming in on us. And my colleagues dropped out the game, the game kicked him basically, he had a bit of a hiccup there. That's why he's just rejoining my party. So I'm actually playing this on my own now with 3 AI. We had a bit of a freeze up, which I've cut out in the video basically, but there was a bit of a kind of 30 second freeze up by those logs a few moments ago and I had to kind of wait until it unfroze itself, but it actually kicked him from the game in the process. There's some more presence here. What we've got. Okay, so now we need to call the chopper in by placing a flare for ourselves. Oh, I'm getting some severe damage there, I lost my armour. Need to be real careful here. Yeah, I've got that guy. Here. We're not sure where the drop up's gonna be. It's suggesting there, but we'll stick around here just in case. AI, or most of the AI, is sticking with me at the moment. In this mission. The one thing they need to do with this game is have the AI be able to carry bags so you can actually tell them to carry bags. So I've lit the flare now, so it's just a matter of waiting for this chopper now. Kick in. So we need to hold off any police assaults until our ride arrives and then we're out of this level. Now you can stick around if you choose to to try and find more bags and stuff. Let's get my colleague back in the game briefly. Join the next mission together. So, oh, oh he's doing me some damage there. I'm going to take me a live copper. Get ready for action. No, what nice headshot. No, helmet pop up in the air there. I don't know what it was that. So defending off the hordes of police here. AI ain't on actually, I mean at normal mode the AI don't do such a bad job of defending you and taking police out so the AI overall, you know, I'd say 99% of the time are very good at picking you up if you get down as long of course they're not actually overrun themselves it doesn't take much for the AI to get overrun at the higher levels of the game so drop a point is here was actually down the hill, not where it was suggested. Oh, took a big bit of damage there. That hurt me. Grab this bag. Quick throw. Grab the next bag. Chuck this one straight. Put it there. And then this one will run up the plant in the chop in the area. So that's pretty much why Xmas. That was me playing on my own 50% of the way through. My colleague was with me for the first 
on normal mode. Not too difficult a level to be honest. Most of you should be able to handle that on normal. I was quite a low level character as you can see I was only a level nine well, level eight when I started that, so or level seven or whatever it was, but um sorry, level nine, my apologies. So, you know, not too difficult a level and a, a good new mission to check out if you've not played it before. Well, thanks for watching. Please remember to rate and subscribe. I'll be back with more gaming action soon on King Lizard Game Lounge.